morning everyone. Football is back. International break is over and we're on our way to Hull this morning to get hopefully the first three points of the season. But if not, we're there to back the Blue Boys and hopefully get a result we can take away from the KCON. So, let's get this show on the road. Searching around uh, Yorkshire for something to eat and can't find anything, so going with the, the good old local grub. Needs has just come out and uh, Jordan Spence holds his place at right back and we've got Flynn Downs coming in and uh, Jordan Graham holds his uh, place on the side with John Walters so hopefully we can get three points today. Um, played well against Norwich so didn't envisage any changes, obviously Gergen's still in so hopefully we can get three points with that squad but um, let's see what happens.
I told Nolan on any time goal score, didn't I? Devastatingly bad at the first half. Hopefully we'll come out second half or actually do something with the ball. Um, we showed about five minutes of promise towards the end, but I don't think we were, we've given enough to actually stay the claim in this game at the moment in time. So um, hopefully, fingers crossed, come 90th minute we might actually take something on this game, but at the moment in time we don't deserve it. Where was the foul there? Absolutely useless. These officials are having a mayor today, absolute mayor. <laughs> Played well today, it's young Finn. So Caden can score a goal. See how this works out. Oh, where do we start? That is only the second time in my lifetime as a supporter of Ipswich Town where I've left early. And today, 
we couldn't have played any worse. We absolutely offered nothing on the wings, nothing in midfield, nothing at the back, and absolutely no opportunity of scoring a goal at any point in that game. So for all the, I think 750 and all those paying on the day that travelled up here today, a big pat on the back for coming to support your club. But if you play like that, there's only one place Ipswich Town are going this season, and that's down, unfortunately. There's absolutely no positives you can take from that game at all. Hull could have battered us for six or seven, let alone 2 0 when I left. I don't even know what the final score was. Hopefully, it was 2 0. But they deserved everything they got out of that game. And for, for everything, they've got. You know, they've got a nice stadium, uh, but the, the fan base, the, for the way they played today, their fans do not justify how well, how well they played as a team. I'm not saying that Ipswich got outplayed at all, but Town just didn't do anything. On the ball, we were just lacklustre. First half was terrible, we had two minutes of game time we actually had the ball put it on the floor oh, I don't know really where we're going to be honest uh, I mean we've got two very important games this week we've got Brentford on Tuesday and Bolton on Saturday and to be honest at this moment in time I can't see us beating either of those teams unless we start playing football because what we've seen in the first seven eight games is not a patch on what Ipswich Town need to do to stay up this season based on that performance that we've had today. So yeah, overall frustrated. Um, long drive home now, thinking about that, but you know, I'll follow town, I'll always be there whenever. Whatever the result, I'll always stick by the town, but today just showed how weak we are. And especially as Hull have been, have lost the last six games at home. We should have gone there today with a bit of confidence and we, we didn't. We didn't show any improvement on our on uh, the result against Norwich, and unfortunately, if we're going to play like that and only only ground out draws at home, then it's going to be a long season, unfortunately. Oh, I don't know what else to say to be honest. That was poor today. So, um, for all those watching and sticking by the video, thank you for watching, and until next time. Come on, you blaze.